like this because it is just a regular handheld pistol, not really too futuristic and not too crazy, which is pretty awesome. You do see it reoccur or reappear in the trailer as well. But at 28 seconds, you have the intervention possibly held by Andre when he's running and Poindexter has the axe. This is kind of in the opening scene, so you guys can easily see this one. But if you didn't know, you could also see the Ripper. Now, the Ripper is pretty cool because it is a, re like a returning weapon from Call of Duty Ghosts. And that's around like 33 seconds you could see this in the trailer. Now, I will have everything up on screen, of course, so you guys can see all of it. But um, basically, moving on. Andre at a minute and 14 seconds is holding a gold weapon. So it's basically a, a minute and 14. So at that time, you could see the gold shiny reflectionist, and people were saying it was leaked as the Tommy gun. So we're just gonna put it as that. So it's kind of cool. It's like the 80s version, but kind of in the future. It's just crazy. It's literally crazy. Now moving over to the melee weapons, like I said, we had the axe, we see the bat in the poster, but now you have brass knuckles that Andre is using at a minute and eight. Now that's pretty cool as well because I don't know if it's going to be like depending on who your character is you'll have this weapon or if you have to purchase it or just pick it up anywhere and it would be your I guess custom melee weapon. So that's pretty cool that you can see that you have the L96 or the L9 uh, sub the L8 or whatever that three shot or sort of type 90 whatever five the ML3 and uh, MW3 style weapon in the wheel of magic and that's kind of like the mystery box which I really do enjoy. You also could see that they're holding either the honey badger or the Remington at 53 seconds and and then you also have the monkey bomb as a jukebox. Now everyone saw this and were like, oh my god, that's actually cool. You could basically place a bomb on the jukebox or place a jukebox with a bomb on it. And then a song will play, then the zombies would break it down and they end up dying eventually. But I really did like that. But last but not least, we have a freeze ray. So this freeze ray is used and held like a Gatling gun. And basically you're holding it, you freeze the zombies and a huge white mist goes out, freezes up them and they're just frozen. They're literally frozen. So it's cool. It's like the alternate ammo in Black Ops 3 or not even the alternate ammo when you use the fire bow and it kind of just I guess has the uh, magma go around the zombies that's kind of what it is so I really do like that but anyway guys I hope you did enjoy this weapon video I'll be having a lot more infinite warfare on my channel so uh, stay tuned